In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can implement mobile notifications for your Android project in Unity. As always, I'll be using my own published app to take you through the setup from start to finish. We'll take a look at how it works on a mobile device and we'll go through some of the issues you'll encounter that other tutorials don't tell you about. To get started inside Unity, open up the Package Manager by going to the Window menu and selecting Package Manager. Give that a few seconds to load all of the available packages and then scroll down until you find mobile notifications and go ahead and install that. Once that's done, in your project hierarchy, we're going to right click and create a new empty game object. You can call it whatever you want. I'm going to call mine mobile notifications. Then we're going to add a new C sharp script component. And again, you can name the script whatever you want to call it. I'll just call mine Mobile Notives. Once you've done that, double click the script to open it up in Visual Studio and get it ready for some code. Now we're going to head over to the Unity documentation for mobile notifications for Android. And for easy reference, I've left a link to this page in the description of the video below. Okay, when setting up mobile notifications for Android, there are two key pieces of code we need to implement. The first is to set up a notification channel for our messages to go through. I like to think of this as a sort of radio station that we would broadcast messages through. The second key block of code is the setup and sending of our actual message or notification to our user. So what I'm going to do here is highlight and copy this notification channel code exactly as it is here and head back into my new script. Then in the start method, I'm going to paste it. In doing that, we can see a few red squiggly lines show up, and if we hover over those, Visual Studio lets us know that we're not using the right class to implement this functionality. To fix this, we can click on the suggested solution that Visual Studio provides us, or go ahead and type it out above our code. I also recommend that while you get familiar with how the mobile notifications code works, that you document or comment what each section does, which is super helpful when you want to play with or update the code on your own. So I'm going to note that this block is for the setup of our notification channel. Then when we look at the parameters for our channel, we can also update or change those to whatever we want. For now, I suggest leaving the ID parameter as it is for simplicity's sake, uh, as the message sending code that we'll implement in a moment is going to reference it. But I am going to go ahead and change the name and description of this channel to something that is a little bit more meaningful to me and the kind of notifications that I want to send being reminders. Finally, this code registers our channel. Now we're going to go ahead and set up the notification that we want to send. And again, I'm going to go to the Unity documentation and copy the code exactly as provided and paste it into my script underneath the code for the channel setup. So this code essentially creates a new Android notification variable called notification. And you can set up others in this format too if you want to. We also have a couple of values for our notification that we can specify. And we're going to start by building our notification by updating the title and text message that we want our players to see. For my app, I'm going to try and entice them to come back and play a ranked game. The next line of code specifies the fire time for our message, which is when we want to send it out to the player. And we can see that that is based on the current time plus a value that we need to define. The Unity docs have this set to one minute, but I think for testing purposes, this could waste a lot of time. So for now, I'm going to change it from add minutes to add seconds, and I'll have the notification fire 15 seconds after the script is triggered. I'm going to continue my good habit of commenting what I'm doing with this code. So I'll just note that the second block here is for the setup of our notification and its parameters. Then underneath that, this last line of code is instructing the Android notification center to send a notification. And inside the brackets, we're specifying which notification we want to send and which channel we want to use to send it. And these values could obviously be different if you set up different notification variables and different channels. But for now, we just have one of each. All right, so that's our first pass of the notification code. Let's go ahead and see if it works. I'm going to build my app directly to my Android phone and I've shared the screen so we can see what's going on. 
So my app has opened up as expected, and I'm just going to go through a couple of different screens over here, and then uh, once I've done that, I'm going to exit out of it, and let's see if we get a notification after around 15 seconds. Up in the left corner of the screen, we can see that the notification has shown up, and it looks perfect with the icon, the title, and the text that we gave it, which is great. But it also looks like we have some peculiar behavior going on here because the notification has come through four times. And the reason that this is happening is because every time we're going to the main menu where we created our mobile notifications game object, we're triggering the script that we wrote, and it's lining up a new notification each time. The second issue we have here is that the notifications haven't gone away after we've tapped on them, which is super annoying as it's going to force our players to manually swipe them away. And in typical fashion, it's not very obvious from the Unity documentation as to why this is happening or what we need to do to resolve it. But thankfully, the solution to both of these problems isn't too complex. So let's jump back into our code and sort them out. So what I'm going to do is at the top of our start method, I'm going to add a new line of code that I want to execute before the rest of my script. And what I want this code to do is remove any messages that have already been displayed to the player. And to do that, all I need to do is tell the Android Notification Center to cancel all displayed notifications. The next piece of code is a little bit more complicated, but essentially what I'm going to do is give our notification sending instruction an ID by typing in var ID in front of it. Then I'm going to go ahead and set up a new if statement that's going to check if there are any messages scheduled to go out when the script is run. And if there are, I'm going to cancel them all and re-trigger the notification send instruction. To do this, I'm going to start my if statement and open my brackets. And inside the brackets, I'm going to instruct the Android Notification Center to check the scheduled notification status for my notifications ID, which we just set up. Then, if there are notifications with this ID that are scheduled to go out, we're going to run two lines of code. So we open our curly brackets, and similar to how we canceled all displayed notifications, this time we're just going to tell the notification center to cancel all notifications. Then I'll go ahead and copy and paste the instruction to send out our notification again. Okay, hopefully that should sort out the issues we were experiencing. So let's go ahead and find out by building this update to the phone and seeing what happens when we test the app. I'm going to do what I did before and head into a bunch of different screens and the main menu, which like before should trigger our script multiple times, but this time we only want to see the message show up once. Okay, so there in the top left we see our notification. And after giving it a few seconds, there is only one, which is good news. Now I want to see if that notification disappears after I tap it and go into the app. And it does, which is great. So now it looks like we have bug-free mobile notifications working on our Android device. I'm reminded that the last thing I need to do is update my code so that I send the notifications out after a reasonable period of time, instead of the 15 seconds that we're currently using. And for this app, I'm just going to set my reminder app to go out after 48 hours. And that's it, guys. We're done with setting up mobile notifications. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to drop a like and hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. It really does help me to grow and stay motivated. All right, that's where we'll leave it for today. We'll see you guys in the next video.